वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल लुकिंग एट इम्पॉर्टेंट हेडलाइंस फ्रॉम द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर फॉर फोर्थ मे ऑन द फ्रंट पेज यू हैव सी बी आई सर्चिंग फॉर एविडेंस ऑन इलेवन मर्डर्ड गर्ल्स सो सी बी आई फाइल इट सेवन स्टेटस रिपोर्ट इन मुजफ्फरपुर शेल्टर होम केस एंड इट सेड दैट द थ्रस्ट एरिया ऑफ द सी बी आई प्रोब एज सच वॉज ऑन ऑप्टेनिंग रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम सेंट्रल फॉरेंसिक स्टडीज लिमिटेड न्यू डेली ऑन द बोन्स रिकवर फ्रॉम द ब्यूरियल ग्राउंड ऑन द बेसिस of a statement given by an accused so they are investigating into this and uh, you know searching for evidence on 11 murdered girls as has been alleged then this is eight dead as cyclone fani hits puri so rain and winds leave destruction across coastal orissa over 1 million have been evacuated the cyclone fani which was expected to make a downfall here in on friday it happened and suddenly it unleashed torrential rains and winds up to 175 km per hour then below you have only 10 of 100 ganga sewage projects completed so this is the number of projects which have been commissioned after 2015 of the 100 only 10 have been completed and this is Two months after Prime Minister inaugurated a civilian terminal at uh, IAF's Hindon Air Base in Uttar Pradesh in, in Ghaziabad, the low-cost flying scheme, Udan scheme flights, which are to be taken off from here, have not started yet. And this is coal panel clears two more Modi speeches. So the Election Commission has said that two more of Prime Minister Narendra Modi speeches. and two of bjp chief amit shah they do not violate model code of conduct and have been given a clean chit then on page 5 you have not keeping record of prenatal tests is criminal supreme court so this is a judgment of the supreme court in which it has upheld provisions in the anti prenatal sex determination act the law in the country which criminalizes non maintenance of medical records by obstetricians and gynecologists and suspend their medical license indefinitely so the supreme court has uh, dismissed the petition by doctors who have been affected by this law and it se- itself says that not keeping records of prenatal tests is criminal then on the editorial page the first editorial is gst buoyancy so this is regarding good collection of gst during the month of for the month of april 2019 so with collection setting a record high the next step should be to simplify the tax regime is what this editorial says and second editorial spanish steps so this is regarding election results in spain so uh, so it has given pedro sanchez an opportunity to deepen center left politics so in spain's general election socialist party has got a convincing victory then the lead article is the essence of democracy so this is regarding candidature of pragya singh thakur so the article says this reveals bjp's uh, uh, reveals a lot about bjp's election campaign and this is the image makeover for belt and road initiative so it says that india's initiative has to be set in a larger picture of relationship with china so india has refused to be part of belt and road initiative but china has also revamped it and given assurances now with the second belt and road forum as you know summit which took place so this is regarding that that there would be no there would be more transparency because there are allegations of debt trap also associated with belt and road initiative projects because china gives a huge amount of loan assistance to countries to have infrastructure projects develop but then the country is unable to repay those huge amounts like sri lanka pakistan and others then on saturdays you have a ground zero coverage so here this is regarding coverage in sri lanka a new fault line in post for sri lanka so after 10 years of fragile peace the deadly bombings the easter attacks in sri lanka on april 21 have blighted the uh, eastern lagoon landscape of the island nation so it has pitted religious communities against one another that's what is the consequence of the terror attack then there is no important news on the international page on business page you have don't terminate gst benefits to india so 25 us lawmakers have warned trump administration that firms seeking to widen export to india may be hit if generalized system of preferences program is terminated for india so this will happen after the expiry of 60 day notice period which will be on 
fourth on third May 2019. So then, this is RBI imposes fine on PPIs for violating norms. So these are prepaid payment instrument issuers. So, a fine has been imposed by RBI on five such prepaid payment instrument issuers, including Vodafone, M-Pesa, and PhonePay, for violating uh, regulatory guidelines. Also, above you should know regarding this too, India extends retaliatory tariff guidelines on US items. So, India has been, you know, uh, has actually uh, stated that it would impose retaliatory import duties on 29 US products, including almonds, walnuts, and pulses. But then every time this deadline has been extended. So, though we have announced it, we have not put it into effect. So, in, in supposedly give and take uh, between India and USA. So, it should also be seen in the context of GSP being withdrawn for India. And below you have Asia Pacific to grow 5.7% this year. So, this is Asian Development Bank stating so. It says consumer investor behavior may be undermined by trade tensions though. And on the last page, there is this news, Indian adults unaware they are ailing from hypertension. So, this is the first large scale study which finds only 45% have been diagnosed and 8% had BP under control. So, only 8% had BP under control. Others suffered from you know, high or low BP. So, this is a cause of concern. Hypertension is a cause of concern in the country which has been highlighted here. So, these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.